Hi everyone, it's Hatsy and I'm back with a gameplay go through. I don't even know what you call this. It's like a let's play, but it's not a let's play. It's just like a look into gameplay of Priscilla, the house and yeah, all her pets. So I've made Priscilla in a creator sim and I've also made this house in a build which I shared yesterday. So you can find that. I didn't really want to commit to a let's play. So I thought it would be a good idea if I just like did a part or like a couple of parts or like however much you want to see of this but just like have it quite casual so I'm not I'm not committing because <laughs> I don't want to do like a hundred parts of this because I have a very short attention span so Priscilla is uh feeding them at the moment because it's early and uh she's got to because unfortunately one of them urgently needed her attention a minute ago which was Coco Coco wasn't doing so well because he didn't have enough food bless him I feel terrible but I keep forgetting to fill the bowls. Which is strange because in real life, I'm very paranoid about letting the bowls be empty at any time. Like that is my biggest paranoia ever. So she needs to make herself some food. So we're gonna go into the kitchen and then we're gonna look at the dogs. <laughs> Maybe it would be good to kind of speak some neighbors at this point. I don't know if the welcome wagon has came by yet. I don't think it has, but if it does, then maybe we could find some friends for her or like other dogs to socialize with. I would actually really like to look at puppies. So I really want two of the dogs to uh, fall in love and have a litter. That would be amazing, but we'll see. Because she has five in the household, but there's enough room for three more. So maybe, maybe that's what will happen. She's a terrible cook though. In fact, I'd imagine her to just like hire somebody to come to the house and cook for her because she can't be bothered. <laughs> Me, literally me. If I could, I would. I'd be like, no, I can't cook. Can someone come around and cook me, please? I don't really like cooking. Well, I like cooking, I just don't like washing up. It just is annoying. Um, okay, it looks like all the dogs are sleeping. <laughs> I love how he just like came in here and he's just doing that. Oh my goodness, that's how my dog sleeps. He sleeps like that on my bed. And what will happen is like, um, I'll feel something against my back in the middle of the night and it will be him doing that pose. <laughs> he is the hugest thing. So she's gonna eat this salad. She's like really health conscious, I'd imagine. But I can't stand salad. No, I just eat carbs. Like that's pretty much all I eat now. And don't say that's not health conscious because it is if you're counting macro units, which I do and that's what I'm doing. She'd be conscious of her body appearance. Same as me but to the point where I just, I like to be healthy and have everything really balanced. Oh, what are you trying to tell us? Hmm, I think she's active, so she wants to play. We can do that. And I hate to say it, but I feel like Priscilla would have favorites. So maybe, maybe it's this one, I don't know. But um, also some of them have like um, different traits. So you'll find that some of them will hang around her more and will be more clingy and then some will just kind of go off by themselves a little bit. What about a walk? Oh, we could take one of them out. Maybe we could take out this one because he wasn't feeling very well before, so it would kind of make sense for her to give him a little bit of attention and maybe take him out. I wonder if we could take them all out. <laughs> just like all of them, all on leads. A joint lead. My dogs have joint leads. They love it. But one's faster than the other, so it's, it's a nightmare. I end up carrying one of them and then running with the other. <laughs> yeah that's my life at the moment okay so she's gonna give this one a hug I think you've kind of given this one too much attention though okay just chill out a bit so then you're gonna take this one for a walk I've noticed as well that the sims just tend to stand around a bit before they do an activity I don't understand why this is this is lovely but the dog whisperer would disagree with the way that you're walking that dog, Priscilla. I'm sorry, but I read, in fact, no, I watched about like where a dog should be standing when you walk. And apparently if a dog's walking behind, it means that they think that you're in charge. If they're walking in front, it means that they think they're in charge. And if they're walking side by side with you, it means that you're equals, which is supposed to be the best. This is honestly the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. Apart from my dog, I'm sorry, but that's adorable. Where is she even going? I've noticed that the towns are huge. 
like ginormous. Can we, can we get rid of them? Can we chase them? <laughs> I wouldn't do that in real life though, honestly. I get really annoyed if people do that in real life as well. I'll be like, for goodness sake, leave the birds alone. That happened in Hawaii and I nearly, I nearly got involved and I was like, leave those birds alone. Hello, I'm contacting you on behalf of Be Fit. No, I don't want free earbuds, go away. Hang on, why was I answering somebody else's phone call? Because that wasn't even anything to do with Priscilla. <laughs> What is going on? I think this is the biggest world in the Sims 4 that I've seen. And they're all like this. So this is a house that I built before. So you can see that if you want to. That will be on the channel. In fact, that should be coming up next after this video. Um, because, yeah, it's coming up next. <laughs> but if you want to see the woman that lives there, then you can. But I would imagine Priscilla and the woman not to get on. Like, whatsoever. Maybe she'd be really funny with her. Maybe they've had like a rude introduction. Who's this? Oh, I think she might like, she might like him because, okay, number one, let's just, let's just talk about this. Right, number one, he's not bad looking. He's not my type, but maybe he's Priscilla's. I don't know. The reason why is because he has his ears pierced with a beard with that quiff. There's a lot, there's a lot going on and I wouldn't know what to focus on. And I think I'd focus on the quiff. <laughs> well, maybe Priscilla likes, likes him because he has a dog as well. And that's cute, very cute. So she's gonna try and speak to him, make a flirtatious joke. Okay, um, maybe we could stop her dog from winging on his foot. That's happened to me before, by the way. Like literally, I'm gonna pause this for a second. <laughs> One time I was speaking to my landlady and at the same time my dog was winging on her foot but I didn't want to tell her, so I just left. <laughs> and she didn't notice because she was wearing boots. So yeah, that's the story. Okay, so what would she be saying to him? She'd be like, um, hey, like I'm new to the neighborhood. They're walking away from each other. No, get back. Get back. Give fate bad news. What is that? No, let's not do that. Let's um, infuse about dogs. Oh, awkward encounter. So it was a little bit awkward, but maybe she's going back and she'd just say, look, I'm a little bit awkward and I'm really sorry about that encounter. I didn't mean to offend you. I know, maybe I came off a little bit too flirtatious, but I'm actually a nice person. Give me a chance because I am new to the neighborhood. Perfect. And it looks like these dogs <laughs> may not be interested in each other. I don't think they care. My dog would be going at this dog is in like a nice way, just like trying to play with it and stuff. Okay, maybe nothing romantic, maybe just funny and like tell a funny story. <laughs> she, she could go back again for a third time and be like, I just remembered. I had something funny to tell you. Get to know. <laughs> He's like, oh, her again? Really? Oh, she's done. She's so done. She's going back with a little dog now. He's adorable. Maybe that's one more breed. Yeah, so... This is the neighborhood. It's uh, it's big. So you should be able to like walk around all here, all the way up to here. Ha, huh, okay, that was big. Well, now I think we maybe have his number. Oh, he's married. Well, this is awkward. Hang on, he's married to Brent. Brent's married to a person called Brent. Hmm. I think, I don't want to break it to anybody, but I think Brant might be gay, which obviously isn't going to be a good choice for Priscilla. <laughs> okay, maybe that's why the flirtatious joke didn't work out. Who knows? But that's great. That is a twist. So I think what we're going to do is I really want her to have a go at breeding the dogs. But how cute is he? <laughs> On a plus note. Adorable. Okay, so I saw a, um, hmm. I saw a command and it was like, oh, encourage, yeah, that's it. Encourage to mate with, should we mate with Bo, Waffle or Biscuit? I don't want to mate with Rosie. The only reason is because I don't think we're gonna even get to see the puppies. And also they're gonna be mixed. There's nothing wrong with that. And I don't mind that. But Priscilla, she has Pomerarians. Pomeranians, sorry. <laughs> so she's very keen on that breed. I, 
think bow. Yeah, because they're very different colours. So it'll be interesting to see how they turn out. Because I think that if he was to mate with Waffle or Biscuit, as cute as they'd be, they'd be pretty much the same colour. Which we don't really want. So we're going to do that. We're going to encourage. And he should agree to it. Because I'm not being funny. We didn't tell him off for weeing on the floor. <laughs> so he can do us a favour, can't he? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I really want to see what they're like. I want to see what happens. I think we'll have to go to the vet or something and then maybe have like one or two. I don't think that she's happy with him. Oh my goodness. What? Where's he gone? Why has he ran off? This is awkward. What happened? I don't want to sound strange, but they kissed. And now what? See in The Sims 3, I think, they disappeared. What happened to the lighting? Okay, lighting's back. Um, but yeah, they disappeared into the little dog bed place and then they came back. I don't know. I don't know if it's worked. That's the issue. I mean, if it's worked, then it's worked and that's great. But if it hasn't, we're going to have to do it again. Okay, well, in the meantime, Priscilla's going to get some food. She's doing it already. All right, you're way ahead of me. Fine. What have you even got there? It looks healthy, though. She really is health conscious, just naturally. I like it. Because that's the kind of thing I get myself. <laughs> I wonder how long they're pregnant for. <gasps> Congratulations, Bo's expecting. There are going to be some new little paws around the household. Oh. Oh, I'm over the moon. I can't wait. I'm sorry, how can she not be happy about this? Are you joking? This is the best thing that's happened to me all day. I feel like she should have a much bigger boost from that because I'm sorry, but puppies versus cold in the middle oatmeal. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I, I think I'm right here. I think that there should have been a huge boost. That is the best thing that's happened today. Seven o'clock, she's gonna go to bed early, but she'll probably wake up in the middle of the night because it's Sims and they do that for some reason. Oh yeah, I did also fix the roofing that I said I would. So that's good. I also like how the dogs have just followed us in here. So yeah, hang on. It's annoying because if you do use this house, you're gonna have to replace that wall. I'm very sorry about that. Look at all the dogs though. Look at them. I like how they all sleep differently as well, well a little bit. I don't get this because Okay, there's like grass and it's sick. I know what it is. And I know what it is because my dogs do it as well. They do it occasionally. They'll go and eat grass and then I'll wake up in the morning and there'll be something on the floor and I'll be thinking, what have you done? Like, why? Why would you do this to me? You just, I feel betrayed. <laughs> no, I don't. It's bad though. One of my dogs, she always gets an upset stomach, bless her. We tried to have her on like pretty much the same food at all times and keep it pretty plain as well. So she doesn't react to anything. Maybe she's got like a really sensitive stomach. Hey, why are you up? What are you moaning about? You're not the pregnant one. But yeah, my dogs actually sleep underneath the bed. I always get paranoid that my dog's pregnant, but she's not because she's got no one to mate with. I know, but I would actually really like her to mate with somebody. I would, I know it sounds awful. I would love my dog to have puppies. Maybe at some point. No, she doesn't look any different yet, but maybe she will. Maybe she'll have like a lower stomach. What have I done? I haven't put a dog flap in. Is that why? Is that why we've just got all the dogs standing around? It might be, you know. Might be my fault. I think it is. <laughs> I think I'm the worst dog owner ever on The Sims 4. Not in real life. I'm very good. Oh, what have I done? Okay, let's stick in a, a little hole in the wall. They should use this now as their door. Oh, she just went out the front one. Well, thanks for that. No, I appreciate that, going to all that effort. And then you go out that door. Not there. You could have gone anywhere and you go there. You go right in front of the house where people are going to see it. And I I'm sorry, but our worst enemy down the road, the crazy cat lady down here, if she's coming past, she's going to have a right laugh at that and think, oh, look at, look at what that dog's just done. No, that's not fair. Or oh, in fact, we could cause some serious drama and we could get the dogs to go over 
into the bathroom on her lawn. <laughs> and then these two could have a really good argument about it. Which brings me back to the time when I had an argument with my neighbour about dogs. Okay, anyway. So, Priscilla's not happy with the untidy surroundings. Well, why don't you just clean up these plates then? Oh, by the way, I do usually play with the walls up just because I actually like to see the build that I've made. I know that it can be quite like irritating to see sometimes, like, oh, why is she playing with the walls up? But everybody uses it a different way, and that's just the way that I like to do it. I just do. Yeah, I don't understand like why she didn't sleep for the whole night. She just, oh, stop. No, that was my fault. Damn. Okay, the dogs are hungry, so they're gonna take priority. Fill all the bowls. She's gonna have a microwave dinner. <laughs> Treat herself on a Tuesday at 4 a.m. It's quick. We can get it over and done with, and it's fine. And it still looks healthy-ish, because you've got the vegetables and stuff. But it's probably like quite processed. I do like how they all have separate beds. And on the gallery, this will be changed so you won't have the, the separate little gates and things. Okay, Biscuit's hungry now. Look, all I'm saying is the food's there, Biscuit. I'm not gonna take you to the food. You gotta do it yourself. I do imagine Priscilla to have a relatively boring life, I hate to say. I'd imagine that she'd be one of these people. She'd probably just relax for a lot of the day. She would probably spend a lot of it with her dogs as well, which there's nothing wrong with, and I do a lot actually. But that's really it, that's as far as her life goes. Like she doesn't really have many hobbies or anything. She doesn't know anybody, and I think the man that she knows, the only one that she knows is Brant. Yeah, he is gay. That's why the flirtatious joke didn't work. <laughs> well, that is the most awkward thing ever. Belinda, there's another cat lady. Oh dear. Oh, there's a crazy party happening at the chalet. It's 7am though. 7am, there's a crazy party happening. No, I think we're going to skip this one out. I'm sorry. Okay. I would like to maybe go and have a bit of an argument with someone. How is Bo feeling? Keeping a really close eye on her again. What if we gave her a brush? Could you like build the friendship with some of the dogs? Right, let's call Belinda. Let's invite her to hang out. And uh, the storyline for this one is gonna be that Priscilla has realized that she doesn't really know anybody in the town. So she doesn't want enemies yet with anyone. But then Belinda's gonna get here and it's all gonna kick off because they're gonna realize that they've got absolutely nothing in common and it's probably best if they don't speak. So she's gonna be on her way out of her house, I'd imagine. I don't think she's gonna appear over there, is she? Why are you sleeping outside? Is that a cat with pajamas on? <laughs> what happened to you? What have they done to you? Okay, she's here. So she's round and she's probably gonna be expecting an apology of Priscilla because yeah, maybe they had some conflict when Priscilla first moved in, hence the the uh, the red bar there. She's like our only neighbor at the moment, apart from Brant, but I have to say it's just awkward with Brant right now. Like maybe we should just leave that alone for a bit. <laughs> because Brant has a husband, okay? So no flirting with Brant. They look different, don't they? Whoa, can you leave the pregnant lady alone, please? Stop the fight. Stop it. <gasps> you little devil. She's pregnant. Muffin. We're going to scold for attacking. How dare you attack a pregnant lady? Oh, they're so in love. This is just adorable. I think Muffin's really jealous and that's what's going on here. She's like, can you stay away from my boyfriend, please? And then the other one, Bo, is just like, well, actually, he's my boyfriend because we're having a litter of puppies together. Like, leave us alone. <laughs> oh, dear. Just jealous. Just jealous, Muffin. It's sad, though, because Muffin was the one that we took out for a walk. So now, I'm kind of regretting it a bit. We could have taken one of the others because they've been all right. Who needs food now? Look, I can't do everything for everyone. If you need food, you can go in here and get it. I do feel like the Sims should sort out about the uh, the length of time that Sims are tired for. I don't think they should be getting tired. It takes out all the activities that you can do in the middle of the day. Congratulations, a puppy is born. Bo just gave birth to her puppy. What would you like to call her? Um, Gracie, 
Gracie Pomfrey. Oh gosh. <gasps> I can't wait to meet her. <gasps> another one! Bo's just giving birth to a puppy. What would you like to call her? This is another girl. So, Abby Pomfrey? Maybe we can find a better name. OP. I think we have one called OP. No, I don't think we do. That's fine. <gasps> cute! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's cute. But like, do they look like Pomerians? I don't know. Very, very, very cute. And we will definitely have some fun with these because we can go and pet them and give them hugs and stuff. But, hmm, yeah. I feel like their noses should be a little bit flatter and their fur should be a little bit bushier to be Pomerarian puppies because they, they don't look, they don't look anything like the parents. In fact, they look like corgis. They do, don't they? They look like corgi dogs. Which are really cute and I love. But are they Pomerarians? That's just me though. But yeah, I'm loving this so much. I should get going now. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Like your dog's just given birth and it's a bit awkward. So she's just gonna spend some time, I think, just like in the house, getting to know the new family members. Aww. Adorable. Okay. That's cute. You can see what it's like really. And uh, I feel like that's a pretty good in look. No, hang on, look in <laughs> to pets, I think. And I'm happy with that because we've kind of done a little bit of gameplay. We took the dogs for a walk, like you can see uh, what it's like to have litter yourself. And yeah, like I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to download this family, if you want to download the house, it will all be on my gallery, Hat CYT. I don't know if I'll carry on with this and make it a let's play. I don't think I'm going to, just because I do have a short attention span and I'd rather just move on to something else and just like do it in little parts. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.